Can you realistically live on a tugboat on a 1000 pop server? Well, today, we're going to put it to the test. Tugboats were released into Rust a couple of months back. At this moment in time, each server spawns with four of them, two at each harbour. This doesn't scale to server pop, so even if you're on a 200 pop server, there'll be four tugboats. And if you're on a 1000 pop server, there'll also be four tugboats. All right. So with that being said, today we're jumping on Rustoria US Monday. Server pop is almost 1,000 and we're going to see if we can get our hands on a tugboat and live inside of one. This is not going to be an easy feat because clans love tugboats. So buckle up. We're in for a ride today. Why? All right, everybody. Hello. Um, welcome back to another crazy Rust uh, experience because we are going on Rustoria Monday and apparently everyone's decided to play on this server today because there's 842 players on it. So, yeah. Solo life. We'll try and do something. Let's just try and survive and see what happens. Rust Christmas update is still here, by the way, guys. It's uh, here until Thursday. So four days of the... I don't know why I'm throwing away my snowballs. These are actually pretty good. But anyway, there you go. Okay, well, I hope you all had a good Christmas, everyone, and a happy new year. Yeah, let's let's get 2024 off to a uh, good start today. Hello there. Wait, you want a team? Oh, you okay. You seem like a fellow guy. You gonna go build a base? Let's do it. Grab some wood. Go build a base? Yeah, let's build a base. Grab some wood. Okay, I'm teamed up I with some guy. I can't believe a guy actually wants to team with me because every time I team with somebody, they kill me. <laughs> yeah, man. It's it's rust, mate. You know how it is. Yeah, man. Now, this wipe day began with a pretty wholesome start. This fella named Atlas decided to start a friendly little team, so I joined him for a brief period of time. Turns out he's not got that many hours on the game, so why not lend this guy a little helping hand? I, I have 119 hours. Um, not that much. How much That's do you have? Pretty good. Uh, I've got like, like 900. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> now, joining a random Rust team with somebody you just met is not going to be smooth sailing. As you can see right here, my new friend Atwas, well, I don't think he's really experienced the true brutality of this game as yet. Let me join, let me oh. join. Whoa, 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 whoa. Join. Run. join it. No! Just join it. He insisted on inviting anybody and everybody that came up to him to the team. Being completely friendly on Rust is a one-way ticket to losing everything. You'll get the hang of it, Atlas. He's gone. Join the team. <laughs> hey, he managed to get him in the team, though. Good on you, man. Let's see if he respawns. 100 hours. Will do. Oh, he wants to meet up at the fishing village. No, that's a good idea, actually, because we can do some of the fishing quests over there. There's two new people in the team who I've not met yet. Right, okay, it looks like we have a couple people at Fishing Village. All right, here they are, the boys. Let's grab some metal ore while we, uh, while we, before we go in. Hello, the boys. The longer I'm in this team, the more I realize how hectic and crazy it is. So we're going to help Hatwas build a base, and then we're going to leave and go and do our own thing. Take some presents, yeah. lads. One each. So, right, what's the plan? I need to find a tackle. A Okay, let's do it. Come on, guys. Big T, how many hours you got? Like 300. Nice, nice. I already got a base down. I'm just coming along with you guys to see where this goes. I've been playing Rust for 10 years now. I started in January 2014. That is ridiculous. You know, I'm not a PvP chad or anything like that, but I do have the ability to sense if somebody's not trustworthy. You see, this big T guy right here, I knew there was something a little bit sus about him orbiting around us while we farmed. I don't trust this big T guy. We're gonna make a base and you can all need a Yep. Oh, shoot, my bad. I meant to hit the tree. Oh, whoa! Oh, I must go stay there. Don't hit me! Oh! Yeah, he was definitely trying to hit me with that spear. Kick him from the team. Most definitely trying to kick him from the team. Be really careful about who you go and build a base with. You can build an entire base with somebody, but you get on the next day and find out you've been served an eviction notice. With that being said, the first mission of our day is complete. We have successfully built Atwas a nice little base. Hey Atwas, Atwas, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna bid you farewell, man. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go play solo. Okay, yeah. Hey, sir, you. sir, Good luck. sir, you, you want to be on my team? Yeah. I really hope this guy survives longer than a day. I already have a team. Alright, we'll leave him to it. Back to solo.
Okay, I'm at the fishing village. Let's do some fishing, uh, do a couple of quests. Now, the fishing village is one of my favorite places to come and just relax. It's a nice place to retreat, sit back with your fishing rod, and enjoy some peace and quiet. I think I know you, man. Really? What, what's my name? I don't know. You sound like a YouTuber. Oh, okay. <laughs> what's your goal, Randy, for this wipe? You got anything big planned, or are you just chilling? Uh... Uh, I don't know. Chilling. Now, as much as I would love to sit here and relax with Randy and enjoy some peaceful fishing, unfortunately, that's not going to be an option. Hey, sir. Oh, Atwas is back. How's your, how's your team going, mate? How's your team going, mate? Horrible. Horrible? Horrible. It went horrible. There are you, YouTuber. It's getting a bit crazy. I might need to stop talking. I'm just going to hide... Steve, where'd you go? I'm hiding. Steve! Somebody's saying Steve. Steve! Oh, oh my god. Where'd Steve go? Steve's gone. Steve's disappeared. <laughs> no, Steve, don't leave. And here is where we are going to find out what our purpose is on this wipe. See, I joined this server with no goal, just jumped on a 1,000 pop server and said, I'm just gonna see what happens. After fleeing the fishing village, never thought I'd say that, we find ourselves stranded on a junk pile with nothing more to our name than a fishing rod. And it was at this moment that I found our purpose for this wipe, the tugboat. Unfortunately, acquiring one of these tugboats is not going to be easy. As I said at the start of the video, there's only four per server. So if you plan on actually getting a tugboat, you have to either join the server really quickly or raid one. And in our situation, the server wiped about 15 minutes ago, so we've already missed our window of opportunity to get a brand new tugboat. In other words, we're going to have to lace up our bootstraps and raid one of these things. Now, each tugboat comes with two rooms. The downstairs section is where you place all of your loot, workbenches, everything like that. Then we have the captain's quarters at the top of the boat. This is, of course, where you drive the boat and also where you gain privilege to build on the boat. This is essentially where the tool cupboard is stored. On this boat right here, the fellow who owns it has secured the top captain's quarters section, but not the loot section, which pretty much means we need to raid the captain's quarters in order to gain access to build on this boat. Lucky for us, this boat still has wooden doors on the captain's quarters, so if we're quick enough, we could be able to actually raid this tugboat with an Ioka pistol. Right, let's go back to the fishing village real quick. We'll figure out what we're going to do from there. So we need to be standing by this fire. Oh, Randy Marsh is here. <laughs> the boys are still here. We've got our kayak and our paddle. Well, uh, we, we've spent the night. We, we need to figure out how we're going to raid this tugboat. It's only got wood doors. Do I build a little starter base and then sort of get everything we need from there? Right, it's getting morning. We've only got 19 health, but... Um, Let's see if we can just grab some wood. I might see if Atwas will let me stay in his base real quick. Yo, Atwas, are you home? Okay, Atwas is not home. We'll have, we'll have to build our own little base then real quick. All right, so the plan is to build a starter base where we can craft the necessary equipment required to raid our tugboat. The only function of this base is going to be to craft what we need to raid the tugboat. That is it. Okay, we're ready to build our base. Door and the lock is being crafted. Oh, crap. Guy with a bloody bow there. There's, there's the guy there. Right. Key lock everything like that. We'll build our base right here. Oh, we're in. We're in. We're in. <laughs> Why am I being uh, all cocky? I've not even got a tool covered. This guy can grief me if he wants to. Are you the YouTuber guy? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you're the YouTuber guy. Wait, what? No, no, bro. You got you got such an iconic voice, bro. No, listen, 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 like, listen. It's, it's I, so I, distinct, I, bro. I literally just bought the game on Steam like ten minutes ago. That's so are I you, you. bro. Are you, I know you are you are you camping a new player right now? Are you camping a noob? No, I would never. I'm just having a simple conversation with them. Okay, because I literally I just I, I watched um what's his name on YouTube, uh, Spoon Kid, and I bought the game ten minutes ago. So That's please, sir. Please. I know you, bruh. No, I know you. 
You're even using the same door skin he uses. Okay, well, what's your name? Yeah. Uh, Scriptbot. Scriptbot. Okay, okay, okay. It's yeah. A pleasure. All right, well, I guess I'll see you later since see you're my neighbor. Yeah. See you later, bro. Oh, God. Now, the goal that stands right now is raiding the tugboat with the wooden doors on it. So I started to head towards that goal. All we needed was a little bit more scrap and low grade so that we could craft the handmade shells that we need to raid the doors. However, whilst I was out on the ocean farming the final bit of scrap and low grade that we needed, I spotted the owner of the tugboat out in the distance. Unfortunately, I'm afraid to say, looks like this fella has managed to get sheet metal doors down on his tugboat. Things have suddenly become a little bit more complicated. With so many people on the server and only four tugboats, it seems that now we might just have to raid one of these tugboats with the use of explosives. All of the four tugboats on the server by this point in time are probably gonna have sheet metal doors on them, if I'm honest. With that being said, the goalpost moves slightly. All right, I'm gonna hit barrels, get the low grade and the scrap we need for the tier one and the furnace. And then we are literally going to just go straight into farming for the satchel charges. I have all the tier 1 and most of the tier 2 blueprints on this server because it's a Monday wipe. Blueprints don't um, wipe. So we're not getting a tugboat as quickly as we would like, but it's all right. I'm up for the challenge. Right. So now we've got a pretty big goal ahead of us. Raiding a tugboat on a 1,000 pop server. And uh, this area that we've built in, it might have seemed like a chilled place to live, but things move quick on these types of servers. Big bases start to pop up every single second. So enjoy the hecticness of wipe day, which is about to unfold, whilst I try and navigate through it all and farm that sulfur. Hey, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, baby. Thank you for sparing my life. Oh, this guy got raided. Wow, that's a quick turnaround. Any scraps? Oh! I just got absolutely destroyed. If you, if you, if you have sassy hooey, blad, you're a hey, pederast. Oh, ho, ho, big boy. Big boy. Oh, ho, 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 Come on, bro. No! Wait! Please! Лох, ёбаный лох, блядь! Ебать ты лох! Аллилуйя, ебать ты лох! Oh, you missed! <laughs> Look at that. Sheet metal doors. We're gonna be on one of them very soon. Mark my words. Sleeping bag's being crafted now. Need to expand this base a little bit. I'm not going to be building this base into anything special at all because this is not where we're going to be living. The whole premise of this video is that we live on a tugboat. I might expand it slightly just so I can add some storage and, and also the tier one. Hello, future Jordan here. I just want to pause the video for a little second. The two people that you guys are about to see are probably the best matched Rust players that I've ever seen in this game. They both randomly met each other on the beach and they are like Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Shout out to these two guys. They're hilarious. They're like straight out of GTA San Andreas or something. Yeah, you don't want to mess with me though, boys. You don't want to mess with me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, what's I got. Up? What's up? Whoa, whoa, what's whoa. Up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm sorry. What about that? I got a hey. snowball for you. <laughs> Yo. What about that? Guys, please. Yeah, Man, go I don't give up. Work, yeah. Here you go. Oh! Uh. Oh, shit. Oh! Boom! That's one tap. <laughs> I tapped your dumb ass, boy. Look at you, no aim. Hey, 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 look. Hey, yo, listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna let you, you guys. Won't. I'm gonna let you guys live, but I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. This is the last chance. I'm gonna let you guys live, though. Like you've got five seconds to leave my base. I'm so type of. You think I'm so type of? You think I'm so type of? You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go? You think? Oh no, 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 G, no, G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I say, boys? G. Hey, 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 hey. I want no smoke, bro. Hey, help! Uh, help your friend up! Help your, like this. help your bad. friend up! Yeah. Help your my friend bad. up! Yeah. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna give you a second chance. My bad. Cause you guys have just met. Uh, we good. We you, good. My you bad. guys, cool. yeah. Off you go, boys. Bye bye. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, all right. Yeah, who's the now? Oh, who's interesting? That's what I thought. Yeah, I don't know. Hey. Just, uh, I'm going to come back with some more snowballs. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I are. See, that's what I thought. You ain't want no smoke. Christmas shit. tree door. Oh, shit. You picked the wrong house, fool! Hey, hey, hey! Big smoke! It's me, Carl! Chill, chill! Oh, nah, I'm chilling! I'm yeah, chilling, yeah. bruh! I'm chilling, G! I'm chilling! I'm chilling for real! <laughs> oh, nah! Shit, bruh! Look all the other naked shit. Oh! <laughs> Alright, boys, let's get out of here. Alright, let's get that furnace on now. We have wooden stuff. Awesome! Oh my god, I can hear them both outside farming. <laughs> Bro, once I once I get up, stone base yeah. cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Me, oh, oh, hey, oh wait, wait, wait. All the hoes. Oh, yeah, yo, cut. Yo, cut. What you wanna do, yo? I know you got some good util on you, cut. Let me get some of them tools. Drop <laughs> tools now. <laughs> drop the tools. We ain't stopping. Hey, right. stop. If I drop the tools, you guys gonna leave me alone. <laughs> drop the tools, cut. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. yeah, drop the tools now. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm dropping them. I'm dropping them no here. Lie. Look, look, look. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. That's you, what I like to see. Yeah, boy. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Where should we go? Cover? We got get a get a uh, we gotta get a uh, a boat, huh? That's what we need. I got low grade. We gotta get a boat, cur. <laughs> Those two guys are like the perfect match. They randomly made each other in the game. And they're the perfect match. Like, I hope they survive. Crafting more tools. We have enough anyway. And those are the guys that live next to us. They've got semi armite rifles and they're actually building right now. Yeah, yeah they're building. They're, they're, they're extending their base. They've got a little oil refinery. Um, yeah. But we're not going to be living here too long, so I'm not going to worry about them too much. Plus, I actually live on this mountain, so it makes it a bit easier for us to get out of line of sight of those uh, th those guys. So yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. Okay, we have a thousand sulfur. Almost back at base, although I'm being chased by a crazy snowball guy. And now, okay, stop chasing me, good. Here's our base down here, just trying to avoid the, the guys that live next to us. And... Oh, we made it. To be fair, we don't actually need to do that many farming trips. We've already got almost 2,000 sulfur. And I reckon we'll need about 5,000 um, for all the satchels. Then all we've got to do is smelt it, which will take a little bit of time. But um, in, in basically what I'm trying to say is we're not too far away from having what we need to uh, raid a tugboat. Right, let's do that base upgrading I was talking about. We have enough metal for a few doors now, so we'll craft two more doors. Now we're going with a very simple base design today because the only purpose of this base is to craft satchels so that we can raid a tugboat. As soon as we've managed to take our own tugboat, we're gonna be leaving this base, leaving the land and living purely out on the ocean. Small little base design. I've built a little sneaky loot room and enough space for a workbench and two or three furnaces. That's all we need. Yo, yo, do you want a team, Steve? No, I, I, I'm solo. I'm solo, man. Oh, okay. Good luck. Good luck. Have a good day, bro. You too. <laughs> Stealthy guy in the night. We have enough for a second furnace, so let's do that and let's start smelting. Um, oh, why am I crafting a tool cupboard? Let's start smelting all that sulfur and our sulfur is being smelted. All right, so the sulfur smelting. On top of the sulfur that we're going to need to craft the satchels, we're going to need some components as well. Rope, of course, is needed to craft satchels, as well as lots of cloth. So any sewing kits we find can be recycled and we'll get cloth from that. Also, since I can craft a lot of the guns on this server already, any rifle bodies and springs and metal pipes that we find will be a great addition as well, so that we can go to this raid well equipped. So with that being said, there's not a lot of monuments around here. We've got the harbor and the junkyard. So let's start off with a little trip to the harbor. See if we can get our hands on some of those components. Okay, we're off, we're off, we're off. Let's go. Right, there's a player living in a rock base there. So I have to just be careful. He lives right next to us as well. It's quite a cool little rock base that I do, do like it. And then we've got Ioka shots. Right, come on, let's get in the zone. Okay, Ioka guy needs to go down. Player farming. Oh my god. Oh. 
that was a good start. Right, let's let's try that again. Right, here we are. Seems to the guy with the rifle is probably recycling. Since there's no other recyclers in the area. And uh, I don't want I preferably don't want I don't want to get too close to that bloody Oh my god. You gotta calm down, man. Okay, well that guy just got deep done and lost everything. So I feel sorry for him. Rest in peace, mate. I'm here I just got rope. I'm hearing a player swim over there. He's hiding. I'm gonna hide with you, you know what I mean? Hope you don't mind. Hope you don't mind. Look, it's us against the world. No, wait, 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 wait. I've got nothing. Wait, if I can take the scraps, I'm taking the scraps. I think they're leaving. There's his body. Well, there's gear on his body at the very least. What did they leave on him? Ooh. Wetsuit comes in handy. Let's just get in and out. We've now got sewing kits to recycle and some rope. Hey, yo, calm down, calm down. What weapon are you rocking today? Oh, little Ioka, huh? Little Ioka. Little Ioka, boy. Chill out. Chill out. I'm over here. It, it doesn't do damage from far away. You can try throwing the snowballs at me and see what that does. Yeah, jump in, jump in. Didn't work, mate. This guy thought he had me low. You didn't. Give me those Ayokas. I'm, I'm tired of these Ayoka boys today. I really am. Right, let's recycle and dip. We're not going to bother looting anything else. I mainly just want... Well, I want the rope. I would like metal pipes. But beggars can't be choosers. We'll just freaking get, get home with what we've got. So then we can at least craft some crossbows. Okay, recycle that. We'll keep hold of everything else. Come on, be quick here. Bandage up a little bit. Oh my god. I got him. Oh my god. Oh. oh, sweet, a bow. Get rid of that. Get rid of... We're grabbing the stuff from the recycler. We're healing up a little bit and we're going home. Tech trash, got it. Rope, got it. We're heading off with a bow now, and we have enough to craft eight crossbows if we wanted to. Or oh, wait, no, four. Let's swim over to the fishing village. It's a safe bet. Oh my god, you're kidding me. I just got killed by a shark. Oh, the shark kills me. It's better than being killed by a player, though, isn't it? Bro, sharks are the most annoying thing in the game because they're very hard to kill, and nobody's going around killing sharks. Okay, there's our body. I'm not seeing a shark at the moment. Yes, I am. The shark's... No. Oh, my God. You absolute... Oh, my God. Just off, man. Oh, my God. He's got me again. He's got me again. He's got me again. What is the point of sharks in this game? Somebody tell me. There's nothing else about them. Look how close the body bag is to the bloody mainland. If somebody's not looted me, it'll be a miracle. I see. Right? Yes. We've still not been looted. How? Right. Over to the fishing village. I need to literally stand up and just breathe for two seconds. Sharks don't give you a lot of animal fat. They're, they're not, like, there's no reason you would want to go in the ocean with a, with a, um, a spear gun. With a spear gun, go through all that effort just to kill a shark. Like, nobody's doing it. Nobody's bothering with it. Right, we're in the safe zone. Finally. Hello. Can I have a fish, please? I'm a little bit hungry. Oh, thank you, man. All right, good luck. Have fun. Okay, night time's upon us. Let's just run for it, get home. That guy is still upgrading his rock base. And it looks like a great little base. It's, it's the perfect rock formation, to be fair. Oh my god, there's a player in there. Please tell me you've not got a gun. Oh, oh okay, he's coming out. They're, no, they're a duo. They're not solo, they're a duo. They're a duo. I'm about to die, straight up. I'm literally about to get in my base and then I'm about to die. Oh my god, we made it. We made it. Oh, I would have literally cried if we died. That amount of effort we went to. Getting killed by a shark 90 times. Bloody everything that happened. All for eight feet of rope. Tier 1 workbench is being crafted. As you guys can see, there's not a lot of room going on in here. Okay. Reskin these doors a little bit. Now, after saying hello to our friendly neighbours... It was straight back out on the roam. This time, equipped with my trusty crossbow. Hit him once. I'll have to leave these guys. They've just built a base. Oh 
my god. One more hit and I'm down. Player behind me saying here, apparently. He wants to give me loot, apparently. He's got a well, he's got a hazmat. What? Dumbass. No one loves you. No one loves me, apparently. There we go. Well, I've got a hazmat now. <laughs> Jesus. It's getting toxic. Right. I'm going to spend the night at the fishing village. Not going to be able to see anything out here anyway. Now, during my little night break here, I noticed that one of the four tugboats on the server was being stored at the fishing village right next to where we live. I don't exactly know how you raid a tugboat in a safe zone. Is it possible? I don't... I think there's a way, but I don't know. So, this tugboat is kind of out of the question. For now, anyway. Oh. Oh. Yep. Sorry. Oh my god, I keep missing that bloody shot, man. Got him. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Steve. Yes, yes, very nice, Steve. Sorry, Hod. I've I've been having a bad day as well, man. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Goodbye, mate. <laughs> okay, let's get home. We've got some metal pipes that we can use those to craft revolvers. We made it back. Perfect. Metal pipes. Let's add some revolvers to our collection. Get him inside, bro. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Okay, made it back with 900 sulfur. Okay, 1,500 wood. Let's get them furnaces on now with all the sulfur we've got. It's about to get to night as well. Furnace is beautiful. Okay, while it's night, let's be productive. Right, let's start crafting these satchels. Ah, I love, I love my satchel skin, but I'm going to go with the new Christmas one today. Right, I've just crafted three satchels. So we're going to need about eight or, well, we're going to need 12 to fully raid a tugboat, but we're going to need eight to get through the captain's quarters, which is probably what I'm going to raid first. Okay. Instead of going to the harbor, let's go over to the, let's go over to the junkyard. That'll be fun. Right. There's already a farmer here. Road farmer. Hit one once. I don't know who's on whose team here. Nice me and you, mate. Got him. Not much loot, but an extra bow. We'll take that. Right, well, we're going into the junkyard now. Player. Jesus, man, you scared me. <laughs> I know, you scared me, mate. Well, good job. I had, I had no idea you were up there. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I just got grubbed, like, right down a hill. That was kind of funny. Later, bro. We just got a P250. Let's get out of here. We're going home. We came here for farm, but P250 can get back in the base. Oh, Lord. There's so much going on on this server. Okay, base is over here. We're on the mountain. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Player there. He's... I don't know if he spotted me, but I'm, I'm running. He'll have... I could have attacked him, but I saw that there was two of them, and his mate was also. So, yeah, Jackhammer. He's up on there. He's He definitely spotted me. Yeah, Jackhammer farming. They're probably from the group... We'll run around this way and hopefully maybe then we'll be a little bit safer. I ran I ran all the way around the mount mountain. That guy got a sar. Please don't tell me that's a sar. It is a bloody sar. And a jackhammer. I'm not gonna take the rest of the meds. I actually mostly just want to get back. I'm very close to being back at base right now, with a sar. Oh my god, we made it! We made it! We made it! Come on! Oh, there's another guy. I got the jackhammer and I got I did, the only thing I didn't get there were the meds. This guy had a little bit of farm on him, but the jackhammer's huge and the semi-automatic rifle, of course. Now the fighting begins. Why was he naked? He didn't have his hazmat suit on. I was like, what the hell is he doing? He was like sneaking up on someone or something. Hey, we've got a flame turret now. Place that down. We've got a sar now. Get in. We are now pretty much prepared, or at least very close, to having everything we need to raid a tugboat and finally live on one. So with that being said, 
it's time to head out on a scouting mission and find our raid target. There's a paddle boy here. What's he doing? Oh, he's so close. Yes, killed him. I've got no arrows. No, I've got no bloody arrows left. They've gone into the safe zone. I need arrows. Please, one of these guys have arrows. Yes, he does. He's got arrows and he's got a lot of other stuff as well. He's also got sunglasses and cloth, which only the coolest of Rust players have. So I, res I can't see much with these on, to be fair. Right, what did the other guy have? Get rid of all the crap. Those were some... Oh, oh, there's the guys over there. How much low grade has he got in here? 63, not bad, not bad. Right, I'm going to park this boat in the middle of the ocean. We're going to go back to base, deposit all this loot, and then we'll swim back out here, and then we'll go around the map and look for a tugboat to raid. Speaking of storage, anything in here? A uh, wetsuit. All right, all right. And we made it back. All right, uh, right, looking at the sulfur, we all of our sulfur smelted, so we just got to turn it into gunpowder and then satchels but i'm pretty confident we'll have enough in this base to craft at least five more satchels yeah on that note let's just go find a tugboat to raid right now two men have arrived at the fishing village our boat is still here right 99 we're off we're on searching for the boat now let's go who's gonna be the unlucky fella we raid today now as i searched tirelessly around the map for these tugboats they're not easy to find remember you can drive these tugboats like 20 grids outside of the map and considering the server is getting into peak hours now everyone's online finding a parked tugboat is harder than i thought and after going halfway around the map i did find the first tugboat however this one has already been raided and the captain's quarters has armored doors on it so if we wanted to raid this we'd have to come back with 15 satchels per door armored doors are ridiculously strong and in my opinion too strong and i think this should be nerfed so this took boat out of the question now continuing on our voyage i ventured through the harsh snow biome and was lucky enough to make acquaintances with the famous snow clan that every server has bloody hell we really are in the big boy big leagues here the big leagues my god you might want to chill out. Is that an M249 or something? There's a body bag out here. There is a body bag out here. Let's see if there's any loot on it. Just a double barrel. We'll take that. How much health has my boat got after that? These guys absolutely went to town on it. Right, I need to heal real quick. Now, some of you might believe in fate. Some of you maybe not. But at this point, I traveled around pretty much the entire map and only seen one tugboat. Now, this is probably just a pure coincidence, but annoyingly, I encountered a bug out in the ocean. My boat decided to kill me. Don't know what this is. Anybody who knows why or how this happened, please let me know down below. Oh my God, I'm getting attacked. Clearly. Yeah, I was too far out of the map. What? Unless it was the rowboat. We're gonna have to go back and get our loot because we had quite a bit of loot. There's no way it was too far out of the map. The oil rig is that far out of the map. The oil rig is way further out than where I was. So I'm not sure what killed me here, but I'm assuming it's just some random bug with the rowboat. Either way, this death actually turned out to be a good thing. I've got a twig base being built over here. Hello there. Hi. Okay, you need to upgrade your base quickly. Somebody's going to destroy it. you got to get it upgraded to stone. Okay. All wood. Have you got a hammer? Yes, I have a, a hammer and I have a stone hatchet. Okay. Okay, basically. Whoa, 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 you're attacking me, mate. Bloody psycho. Now, after helping this new Rust player build a base and get started, there you go. I was hitting the wrong click. And then the lock. Nice, right, you're perfect. Now that's all you. you so. You're the only person. <laughs> you're the only person that can access this. Okay, thank you. All good. Thanks. All right, bye. Bye bye. Okay, we need to get back to our body and hope it's not been looted. I'm sat here like helping someone that's just started the game, and like I've got a body bag out in the ocean filled with loot, and I'm not. Oh, there's a tugboat there. And there we go. We found 
Another tugboat. And this one has sheet metal doors. Has it been raided? It's fresh. It's not been raided. It's, uh, it's ready to be raided. And it, it's in a relatively chill area. There's one box and one sleeping bag. Well, oh, we found it. We, we, we found our tugboat. Marker's going down. Uh, this is the tugboat. Get over to our loot, grab that, and then get home and craft the rest of the satchels and hope that this tugboat's still here when we when we get here. I'm going to try and do a satchel raid on a, with 700 people on the server, so bloody hell, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I can pull this off. We're going to go for the doors on the top first, get building priv, then go for the doors on the bottom. No, what we'll do is we'll raid the doors on the top first, get building priv, put a door on, conceal it, drive the tugboat out, and then um, we'll raid the bottom uh, part of the tugboat out in the ocean somewhere where we won't get countered. Here's our loot. We now have the raid target. We're going to get back to base. Okay, back at the fishing village. Three, two, one. We made it back. We are just one satchel away from doing this then. Right, the bean can's being crafted. We only get one shot at this, guys. Well, we don't. But obviously, if we if we die, then we're going to have to go back to the drawing board and uh, farm again. Satchels being crafted. We now have eight satchels, enough to get through two doors. We're going to wear a hazmat for this, without a doubt. Put that on. We're going to use all the meds we've got. We don't have a tier two workbench. This is just stuff that we've got from players. The semi-automatic rifle. Right. Lots of shots going on outside. The main thing for us is getting to that fishing village. We get to the fishing village, we're good. I don't know who's getting raided. There's a tugboat there driving off. That's the tugboat that's been... Okay, wait. There's the thing right there. There's a player there. I'm going to kill him. He didn't have much. Okay, we'll make a move in a moment. We've got the satchels. We've got everything we need. Should we just go for it? I'm absolutely crapping it, boys. I'm going to wait a little bit because I just I just did some shots so people might go to them. We're going for it. Sod it. We're not going to just sit in the base. You know, you've got to take risks on this game. Rock base, guys, online. We have the doors. And we have the locks. And we have the diving gear. And we have the satchels. We have everything we need. We've made it to the fishing village. First checkpoint. Now, we're probably going to dive all the way over to the boat because I don't want to risk dying. So, we'll dive all the way over there. Just double check it, we've got everything. Um, oh, hello, this guy's just chilling. All right, two doors, two locks, jackhammer in case we need to destroy anything like a, a you know workbench or anything like that, and the eight satchels. I can't think of anything else. Oh my god, wait, I forgot one thing. Low grade. I'm not going back for it. I'm not going back for it. Well, I can grab, you know, I can grab low grade on the way there, just from barrels and stuff. That's fine. Now, I just want to say, as I swam towards this tugboat, I was crapping it. With 700 people on this server, it is so easy to get killed. There's the boat next to a massive clam base. And right next to the dome, we need really good explosions here. Let's get our door and lock at the ready. Shots from behind me. Massive clam base. We just have to get through one of the doors with four satchels. And then we can bloody get this done. We need a lot of luck on our side here. Right, come on. I'm absolutely crapping it. Oh my god, there's a player. There's a bloody player. Crap, i got to swim away from here for a bit. Now, we've got a very critical decision to make here. There's a player inside the tugboat as we speak. It seems to me like this tugboat belongs to the massive clan that it's parked next to. That would make the most sense. So with that being said, I'm going to weigh up the pros and cons for you guys. In order to take this tugboat, we're going to have to raid the captain's quarters to get tool cupboard. If we don't do that and we decide to raid the loot room instead, which is where this player is inside of, then we won't be able to secure the loot room with a door because we won't have building priv. So we can raid the captain's quarters and get tool cupboard and drive the boat away. But that guy at the bottom, what's the likelihood of him coming out of the loot room and just trying to kill me? On top of that, what is the likelihood of him telling his clan friends, hey, our tugboat's being raided, come and help. Last thing, this tugboat is jammed in between a valley. We don't have any cover whatsoever. 
this full upper ground visibility from both sides of the tugboat. All of this added together gives us about a 1% chance of successfully doing this raid. <laughs> Not very good odds, is it? So with that being said, I'm going to need a little help in hand. And I just think that if we try and raid this as a solo, it's going to be suicide. Plain and simple. So I'm asking my friend C&D Blood if he wants to join me on an online raid. Crap. There's a freaking player inside the boat, man. I shouldn't have jumped in the water then. That was so risky because he just come out and shot me. Took the bloody satchels off me. Oh, he's online. He's absolutely online. The bloody hell do we do this then? I'm thinking, do we go for the online raid as a solo? Do we risk it all? Or do we play it smart? I don't know what you guys are going to be thinking in the comments. But I know that I am a little wussy. And I have a feeling this guy's part of that big group. So the moment we start raiding and his friends are going to come. I might have to get a friend on to help me with this. Yo. Hello. Do you want to help me with an online raid? Sure. Okay. It's, we're raiding a tugboat. Now, there's one guy inside that I... Because I've just... I've, I went to, like, raid him solo. But then basically what's happened is I've got there and I've realized, like, he's inside. And his tugboat's parked outside a massive base, right? So I'm yes. like, if I attempt, even attempt this, I am I think it's a death wish. You're going to get roof camped. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna get roof camped, and he's parked in a valley. So on both sides, there's two mountains that are overlooking the boat. So we're gonna be like sandwiched, basically in the middle. I see him. Right. Well, you jump on the server. Jesus, there's 700. There's 700 people on the server. Yeah. So this is this is why I've called upon you because I'm like, Damn. I don't know if I can do this alone. Like, I think if I tried, it, it would be 99% <laughs> chance I die. Yeah. All right. We're going to make a swim to the fishing village where C&D Blood is going to meet us. Then we're going to head back home, get him kitted up. And then after that, we'll be ready to return back to the tugboat, this time with an extra man. That's you, right? Are you? Yeah. I'm jumping. Are you hazmat? Yeah. All right. Great team. Yep. Let's go. You're Steve, uh, obviously, just in case. I'm Steve, yeah. And then there's okay. this this few people here. Right. We need to make a run for it then. You ready? He's looking at you. Yeah, I wouldn't shoot. I would just keep going. That's my base right there. Really? It's like the newbiest base I've ever built. Come inside. Doors, bullets, diving tank, everything like that. Let's just go, mate. If we die, we die. All right. Oh, player there. Right. Come on, come on. This way. He sees us leaving. I, I hear someone jumping. I think he's on the base to the left, I, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I see him. I see him. He's full geared. We're just going to keep running. He didn't see us. Okay. We're going to use these trees as, like, cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll just get to the fishing village. He definitely village. didn't see us, though. So okay, cool. We got really lucky there. Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. That's, oi. Him, right That's him right there, yeah. Right. Right, well, uh, let's, make a, let's make a run because we're, we're going to do a little bit of swimming just to get past the harbor, and then we'll run the rest of... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bonjour. Yeah, yeah, don't shoot anybody. No, 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 no. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Oh, God. Eh, je vais bien. Et toi? Oui, c'est bon. Don't follow me. Tell him to stop following in French. Yeah, well. Par, par, par. S'il te plaît. Stage group up to her. No, 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 please. He's a fake Frenchie, I knew it. Did I just hear someone jump to him? I thought I did. Yeah, it's naked. I, yeah, right there. Hey, no, please, please, please. I'm sorry. That guy's to our left, naked. Okay, player there. Kind of looks fine. Just running past him. Tugboat's still there. Heli's Very being nice. taken down, possibly by oh, the people wow. that live in the clan base. That's the that's the that, so that's their tugboat. Massive clan. That's gonna be uh something, dude. So put away your gun. Yeah, the clan's taking it down, right? I put, I put, it away. I put my hazmat off just in case, cause I I, I don't know if you're. Oh, I'm getting shot. Yeah. I don't know why. Just put your hazmat away. It might. I, I guess it's that. I don't. I thought it was fine, unless you had your gun out still. No. I think it can sometimes take a few seconds. Oh my god. Let's get. Let's get in the ocean. Let's get. There's a player in that base behind us. I'm going into the ocean. So uh, yeah. Now what? So yeah. Now what? <laughs> Um, this is uh, a predicament. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do we do we raid them while they're trying to take the the heli loot? We have to push it first, though. That's the problem. We're we not going to succeed if we don't. We're not, are we? No, there's no chance. 
they're, they're just gonna immediately roof camp with M2s or something. Unless we raid both doors, put both doors down and drive the boat. No, we can't drive the boat, no. that's the point. Yeah, th that's why we need to push it. But even with Satch, oh, it got taken away elsewhere though. If we give it a minute, they might just go to that. I think so. Hey mate, it's far as hell away. It's in the snow. This is our chance. The clan has just taken down the helicopter and the crash site is a fair distance away from their base. If we're gonna get any opportunity, it's gonna be this one. Our plan is to raid the captain's quarters, drive the boat away and then raid the loot room. Once we've raided the loot room, we can destroy all the sleeping bag and take the tugboat. Let's go. I'm thinking you try pushing it and I'd sort of wait back a bit just to see if you survive the pushing part of this whole mission. Sure, I mean, you do have the satchels, I'll push. I think we're fine, honestly. There's one, like, hovering around the compound. I see him. Yeah, there's two right now. One to the left and one way to the right going up the cliff. There is one to the left as well. Yeah, I saw that guy. Dude, I wonder how many... Wait, I think it's in the water. I'm gonna be honest. I can't really tell, though. Is it? Try pushing it a little bit this way anyway, just to test it out. Dude, it is in the water. It's floating. It has to be if you come if you come see it. Shall we just go for it? We just go through right now while we have a chance. Okay, um, you cover you cover the main door. Oh. Is that you shooting? I thought he was sh yeah, yeah, I thought he was shooting at me. I hedge on him. Okay, I'm covering this door. One Throw more satchel, satchel and we're in. Yeah, I'm covering right now. If they go through another door, though, it's going to be a problem. Come on, one more. All right, reloading. We're in. Very nice. Start I'm authorized. Off. we got to go. You can drive it, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very nice. I mean, that's way better than not being able to drive it. Way better. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I am stuck a little bit. You're good. Oh, just keep reversing. Okay. No, it is stuck a bit, mate. You're gonna have to help me out. Get out. Hold on. Killing someone. I'll try my bloody best. Let me do. Let me get out. You I'm gonna put it, on man. my thing. I don't see a push option. Yeah, the push option is a bit finicky. It's, you'll have to like jump around the front a bit, on, um, like to get a push on it. Do oh, you know what? Man. There's just absolutely zero push. Oh crap, I'm hearing a player on the boat. Someone he's just on spawned. He's just spawned in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what, what do you reckon right now? I can't push it. I tried. Gu guard the door, I'll try my best to get this unstuck. Yep, you keep doing that. I'm just guarding right now. Oh here we go. Here we go. I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Now we were running out of time here. This tugboat was just being really annoying and because the section of the water that we were in was like half shallow it was making it very awkward to control and move this thing the owners of the tugboat have already been alerted to what's going on one of them spawned in the tugboat at the bottom section no doubt that there's going to be more coming from the crash site get a neo car oh this is so annoying that it's so finicky and oh stuck. my god they're so loaded in there too We've got four satchels. We could try and raid it. No, the door's open and it's oh, like a tier two and a stuck. tier. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's in it. He's in it. He's in it. No. Yeah, no. I, didn't, I didn't see that. No. How did he get out? He didn't. It was another guy. It was another guy, dude. He got, he got on ship. I was guarding the front door. No. Yeah, I was guarding the front door. There's, there's nothing I could have done there. Ah. Uh, well, while C&D blood was occupied guarding the door, and I was occupied trying to drive this bloody thing. One of the other clan guys managed to board the tugboat, get inside, and take me out. Now looking back, maybe I should have used the four satchels I had to raid the other door inside of the captain's quarters to take it over completely. But I was more so thinking about what we would do once we got the tugboat out into the ocean. And I was saving those four satchels for the loot room. In any case, unfortunately, we failed the first attempt at raiding a tugboat. Not to worry, I'm not going to bore you guys with all the footage of me farming satchels again. We're going to go straight for round two, and we're going to go right back into it and raid another tugboat. Thanks a lot to C&D Blood for helping me out on this little raid here. Ah, unlucky, unlucky. Yeah. Their fight, I think that was just a separate guy. I was watching the front door. Oh, it was good yeah. effort, man. I, we couldn't there, bloody move the thing. There's people from everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So I had just killed someone. Yeah, I'm getting shot at. It's it's the people that went for the raid. They're, they're now coming after me. 
I'll, I'm just gonna get back to farming. And hey, if, if I decide to do another online tugboat raid, I will uh, let you know, man. The CND blood. Yeah. But look at that in the chat, man. 664 people on, and we, we tried to bloody online raid a clan. A clan's tugboat. That's, yeah. Yeah, no, that's... We went for as it. As far as it was gonna get, to be honest. And without, I live in... Like, and I live, oh, 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 pushing oh, it out oh, there. No. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. And I live in this base. Literally. This tiny base. Yeah. Yeah, good efforts. Yeah. yeah. Good efforts. Goodbye. I'm gonna go walk my dog now. All right. Let's catch you in a bit, man. All right, let's jump straight back into it. As I said, cut into the chase. I found all the sulfur that we needed. Also managed to get lucky with a nice kill. Oh my god. We are freaking out of there. Made it back with all the wood. Also, side note, I bled out with loads of loot in my inventory. And some fella actually helped me up and didn't take the loot. <laughs> Let me keep the sulfur. Hey, listen, you don't I need the sulfur. I, I know. I, I bled out, bro. I bled out. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. You're going to help me up? There's no way you're going to help me up. There's no way you're going to help me up. Take a little breather there, pal. He was actually new to the game. I helped him build a base next to me. We have an alliance. Right. Awesome. Get the tool cupboard down and you're set. Appreciate it. Now, one final thing that I want to mention before we do the raid. It needs to be included. I met a guy at the fishing village who gave me a side quest, which is very interesting. And this has never happened to me before on Rust. You want a side mission, Steve, for some scrap? Oh, go on then. I'll do it. Okay. I need a thousand stone for a hundred scrap. Really? Okay, wait there. My base is literally like two seconds away. Sorry, I mean a, a thousand. Yeah, did I say a, did I say a hundred scrap? I meant a hundred, not a thousand. A yeah. Hundred you scrap. want a thousand stone? Thousand stone, hundred scrap. Okay, got it. Oh, this guy, that's a good deal. Ray Charles, mate. Set me up with a side mission. Thousand stone. Thousand stone. There you go, man. Let's take it back to old uh, Ray Charles. Old Ray Charles in the building. Here's your 1,000 stone. Boom. Bone fragment. Hold that. Hold that uh, real quick. Okay. Oh, he's a man of his word. Sorry, because I'm full as bro. <laughs> Take the one scrap. I'm, a, I'm full of Have the bows back. That's one, because you gave me oh, one extra. Oh, he's a man of his word. Yeah, exactly. You know, damn right. That was a very, very good deal, I I think. There's just no way. You're such a degenerate. It's crazy. Sorry, mate. Now, after a couple of hours, the satchels have been acquired. And we are back on the roam looking for our next raid target. I decided to pay a visit to the clans again to see if their tugboat um, is still raidable. Unfortunately, I, and I kind of knew this would happen, they were wise to a possible return and replaced all the doors on their tugboat to armoured. So, can't really raid these guys. So there's now only two tugboats on the map that we need to find and we need to raid one of them. Storms in Rust are incredible. After traveling to the other side of the map, it was nice to pay a visit to one of the other fishing villages. No sign of a tugboat yet. But persistence is key. After continuing the search for a little while longer, I finally found a tugboat out in the middle of nowhere that isn't overlooked by a massive clan or in a safe zone. Oh, I see a tugboat over there. Sheet metal doors all over it. Check it out. Anyone home? Not at the moment. Well, we've got to be quick then. I'm going to grab eight satchels and we're going to come back. Oh, bloody hell. Finally found a tugboat. Weapon flashlights being crafted. I've got eight satchels. I've got a custom SMG. We're just going to get back to our boat and we'll be good. Right, we're off. I'm rushing because I don't want to lose this one, but we're here. Doesn't seem to be a player on board. Right, we're getting into the captain's quarters so we can drive the boat away. That's the first thing we're doing. Give us instant explosions. One more and we're in. We're in. Right. First thing we're doing is starting the engine and moving this thing out into the ocean. And then we'll raid the rest of it out there. It didn't have much low grade in it, that's for sure. It'd be nice if I would have brought a bloody door with me, wouldn't it? I'm hoping there's loot in the bottom bit. Right, we've taken the tugboat out into the middle. These things are fast. We've just covered so much ground. We are in. One box in here. Anything inside? Yes, metal for doors and 500 scrap. Okay, crafting a door, but no wood for a lock. 
We're going to have to go back to mate. We're going to have to go back in the snow a second. We need to just grab a little bit of wood. Tugboat is secure. Right, we'll, we'll get rid of that door at some point. But, oh, I forgot to destroy the sleeping bags. Absolute amateur. Right, let's go. I think Santa's come to pay us a little visit as well. Hiya, mate. How you doing? Now, after securing our very own tugboat, finally, it's now time we transport all of the loot from our old base into our new one. In the safe zone. Full inventory of loot. Let's get that airlock set up so that nobody can go deep on us. We're going to use a locker. Right, the locker's there. 100 metal and 50 wood. Right, let's move the boat so we can place the airlock and all the new stuff. Boom. Airlock placed. So as you can see, when this door opens now, it stops people from getting inside. Now, I must say, I was bloody exhausted at this moment in time. I'd been on rust for absolutely hours and hours and hours trying to get a tugboat. So finally, as soon as I was able to secure one of these things, I passed out. But anyway, with that being said, I got a nice eight hours of sleep. Bring on day number three. Things are about to get a little bit interesting. Right, boat still going strong, everything. It's apparently a storm right now, but the tugboat stands up pretty well in the storm, as you can see. Now, here's where things get a little bit interesting. After heading back to base, grabbing the rest of the loot that was inside and transporting it back to our tugboat, our new home, it was back onto the seas on a nice little early morning roam. And, uh, well, look who we ran into. Oh, tugboat alert, tugboat alert, lads. It's the clan. Where you going? Guys, hello. Hello, my friend. How are you? Stop! Now, I'm not entirely sure if this tugboat belongs to the clan that we tried to raid yesterday, but it's the same exact armored door skin that's on the boat. So we're chasing this down. I wonder where he's heading. And also, I wonder how much low grade he's got. Well, he's heading to mainland. I don't. He, he probably doesn't even know I'm following him, you know? He can only see... Like, look, you can't see behind you, so he, he's probably got no clue I'm following him. So when he stops, which he's going to do in a moment, in fact, he's going to do right now. There's only a sheet metal door on there. Right. <laughs> Oh, we don't like that I'm following him. How are you, my friend? I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What are you doing? How are you? I'm good. How are you? What? What? How are you today on this fine day? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, nice. Man, what are you doing? Now, remember yesterday when we tried to raid the clan tugboat and we couldn't move it because it was in bloody shallow water? Well, if this guy is part of that clan, then we're going to give him a bit of a taste of his own medicine. Man. Friendly. Friendly, friendly. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, bro. Wait, are they together? Oh, no, they are together. <laughs> Man, what the... What are you doing? We are friendly. Friendly. Okay. What the f What are you doing? Oh, there's three of them now. He's got an AK. What the f <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Are you guys the clan? <laughs> we Remember, okay. I, I tried to raid your boat. I, knew, I need to get C&D on. This would be so great right now. Uh, I need a sleeping bag. If you don't stop, yeah. Well, uh, well, go. To <laughs> <the next. laughs> hey, friendly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, 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 okay. I apologize. <laughs> friendly. I apologize. Man, what the? F 
They have explosives, these guys. These are the clan guys. I'm friendly, bro. Me too. Oh my god. Now, I could not get in contact with CND Blood at this time, but after hanging around for a fair bit of time, I realized that these guys have actually left their tugboat. I think they just got fed up of me or something. They just were like, okay, we're just gonna leave for a little bit. So if there's any window of opportunity to raid this tugboat, it's now. I feel like they've just gone to get explosives or something. I'm not hearing them at all. I I I'm not sure whether I should just go for it now. I'm not hearing them. Screw it, I'm going for it, boys. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. What's in here? Oh, there's like nothing in here, which is weird. Where'd they disappear to? Well, doesn't look like this is the same tugboat as the one that was owned by the clan. But well, I'll take the 1000 sulfur. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish this video off with a final raid. CND Blood hopped on to see my new home and we left these guys alone. Turns out they lived in the base right next to where the tugboat was and they basically just sat on their roof so we couldn't really do anything about them. Adios, lads. Now, the raid target we've got in mind is this base here. It's up on the hill. I, I've noticed throughout the wipe that these guys, there's two of them, and they have consistently come out of this base with guns. So I know for a fact that there's going to be some decent loot inside. So we're going to raid this and then we're going to kit out the boat Get some fireworks and finish off the wipe with some fishing. Keep your eyes open. Oh, yes. What we got in here? Well, they, they, they're not the best at organizing loot, that's for sure. Tool cupboard is pretty good. Yeah, check that out. There's pretty nice. I sulfur, like it. That's uh, worth it. 300 low grade, which was uh, 400 crude. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. Got a fishing rod as well. Yes. Then the raid was worth it. You okay? Yeah. Hey, bud. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Don't. Hey, man. Hey, super quick question for you. Yo. So, uh... I'm just going to tell you, I'm extremely new to the game. Uh, do you have any good advice for somebody who's, who's just starting out? Can you hear me? Oh! Sorry! I was helping a noob. And yeah, yeah, dude. That's what so were you saying? Irritating. There's literally like four. Yeah, I'm rushing up right now. I'm, I'm slowly pushing right now. That's one dead. Another one dead. One more, and I've got no more ammo. Oh, one on top, up top, up top, up top. Yeah, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Kill them. There's another. I'm healing. Yeah. Two stars on my body. Yeah, there's like three dead bodies. Hello again, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed that today's video. If you did drop it a like um it was fun hectic lots of ups and downs would have been nice to get that raid on the um clan guys i think next time i try and attempt something like that i'm definitely going to plan it out a lot more so that i'm way more prepared um i think the main thing we fail or i failed on i should have raided both of the doors in the captain's quarters so at least i would have had that section to myself having said that they're a massive clan they probably would have just come with explosives and ended me but anyway um, thanks a lot for watching. I've got a really cool plan for the next video. It's going to be a little bit different than usual, so uh, stay tuned for that. And I will see you then. Um, uh, <laughs> Hope you all had a, a good new year. Enjoy your week, everybody. And hopefully I'll see you next weekend if I've, if I've managed to bloody get the video done in time. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.